Hey friends, welcome to Faith Talks. I hope that you're having a great day today. I am doing something a little bit different today. I um, had a topic, I had my notes typed out like I normally do, and um, I woke up this morning and I just thought I would just share from my heart, no notes, and just... Um, Believe that this is a word of encouragement for you, because I always say this, but I come to you um, from a place of what I'm going through. If I if I'm walking through something and and God's walked me through it and helped me through it, then I always want to share that and give encouragement to you. So um, you know, Revelations tells us that you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. So that's my message is I testify when God is um, doing something in my life or done something or I'm walking through something, then I just want to share that with you and hope that it's encouragement to you. So right now, um, if you followed my YouTube and you followed what I'm going through, you know, my grandmother moved in with us a few months ago and it's a really big uh, change and transition in my life, our lives. And just having the wisdom, the knowledge, the direction to know what to do and, and the steps to take in, in her care. And it can be overwhelming, it can be tiring, exhausting, emotionally, physically draining. It's something I've never walked through before. You know, I, I've had six children and, and that that was a lot in itself. <laughs> But this is a whole nother kind of um, giving of yourself. And so I woke up this morning and I just, the scripture just kept going off in me. And it's one I've shared before, but it's one that I, I live by. I learned as a little girl. And when I'm in a position in my life where I just really don't know the steps to take or what to do, it's like I lean on and draw into the scripture knowing that God's going to give me the direction. So whatever it is you may be going through in your life right now, whatever um, challenge is in front of you, it may not be what mine is, but whatever it is that you're going through right now, and I just feel when I, when I wanted to share this, I feel that there's a lot of you going through things right now. But I just want to remind you, to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Let's say that again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Think about it. Take it apart, each part of that scripture. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. It says, lean not unto your own understanding. So don't try to figure this out by yourself. But in all your ways, not some of your ways, but all your ways, acknowledge him saying, Lord, what do I do? And when you do that, he's going to direct your path. So get that. I say that this morning when I woke up. I said, Lord, I trust in you. I acknowledge you. I'm going to lean to your understanding, not my understanding, knowing that you're going to give me the wisdom and direction and know how to do what I'm supposed to do at this time in this season in my life. So speak that over yourself today. Grasp that scripture. Speak it. Claim it. Proclaim it over yourself that he's going to give you the direction that you need right now, whatever the steps are that you need to take right now. The Lord's going to give you that. Sometimes it can seem overwhelming. Like, I have no clue what to do. But when we trust in the Lord then and acknowledge Him, then He's going to give us the direction on what to do. Don't try to figure this out on your own. Go to Him. Say, Lord, give me wisdom. Pull on that wisdom. As a child of God, you're joined with Jesus Christ. Therefore, you have his wisdom. You have his peace in this situation. 
So draw on that right now. Draw on that. You know, like an old well where they would draw for water in a well with a bucket. Well, draw deep into that. Pull out the wisdom. Pray it out. Thank it out. <laughs> Thank out the answers that you need right now. Another scripture that comes to mind is the Amplified, uh, 1 Peter 5, 7. It says, um, cast all your worries on him. But the way the Amplified says, it says, casting the whole. That means every bit of it. Casting the whole of all your cares. It says, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns. Once and for all, every time it comes to mind, every time a worry, a care, an anxiety, a concern comes to your mind, you cast it on him once and for all. You do it, you leave it, you cast it, and you walk away knowing he's got this. So you cast it. See, like casting a line when you're fishing. Just throw it out there as far as you can and let him catch it. It says... Cast all your care, all your anxiety, all your worries, all your concerns once and for all onto him. He can handle it. Cast it on Jesus right now. For he cares for you affectionately. He loves you. He cares for you. And it, see, and it says he cares for you watchfully. He's watching. He cares affectionately and he's watching. So it's a casting, see yourself casting like a line, throwing it out there as far as you can, every worry, every concern. You throw it out there and you cast it on him once and for all. You don't keep going back. You don't keep picking up that worry, that concern, that anxiety, but you cast it on him and leave it with him and know that he's got you. In my Bible, under that scripture, it gives a reference to this scripture, and it's Psalms 55, 22, which basically says the same thing. It says, cast your burden on the Lord. It says, releasing the weight of it. It's a weight. I know what it feels like to carry that thing around, but today I'm telling you to release the weight of that thing that you're carrying around, and he will sustain you. That means he'll keep you. So when you release the weight of it, then he's going to sustain you right in the middle of whatever you're going through. It says he will never allow the consistently righteous. That's the ones that are faithful. Consistently righteous to be moved, made to slip, to fall, or to fail. Get that today. You're not going to fail. You're not going to fail. When you are consistently righteous and you release the weight of that thing and you give it to him, then his promise to you today is that you're not going to slip, you're not going to fall, and you're not going to fail. That's the word I want to give you today. I want you to take it. I want you to grab hold of it and know that you're not alone in this thing. That when you trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways, then he's going to direct your path today. I love you guys. Be blessed.